These are the things that change males to men. What's up, family? I'm your man, Darius Dante of Males to Men United. Males to Men United, mentoring and empowering young males to be exceptional men. As I sit here and wait for my eight-year-old to get out of school, I'm up waiting to pick him up with the rest of the parents and guardians out here in this long line. I had a thought that I had to give thanks for the opportunity that a lot of men have invested in me when they ask me to pray for them. Periodically here, as of late, I've been getting guys to ask me to give them a prayer in whatever area of their life that they are asking. And I take very much value in how I'm honored in regards to that because quite frankly, I'm filthy rags. I'm no one in the big scheme of things, but ultimately I am powerful because of whom I serve. And so with that, another brother asked me, how do you even pray? Now, this question could be answered in a myriad of ways, but since I was asked, I'll share with you what I shared with that brother when he asked, how do you go about praying? First of all, always give thanks. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God's grace and mercy. So start out with the past and give thanks for all the things that you've been through and God has allowed you to overcome, all right? If you're anything like I am or was, everybody has a past, right? And Lord knows there's parts of my past that I wish I could undo, but nonetheless, I can't. But I thank God for seeing me through those circumstances, which I no longer have to speak of or be held bound by or be, or be bound to, I'm trying to say. And for that, I give thanks. I just think about it. there's a number of times that I could have been dead. And God saw fit that I still am here. So when I think about past experiences, I'm praying, I'm giving thanks on those things. And then I think about the present day, the things that I currently have been afforded, all right? Health, strength, knowledge, and the wisdom I still continue to strive for. I give thanks for those things for the here and now. And as I move forward, the things that I hope to have, that I hope to attain, I pray for those things as well. And when I ask these things of God, I trust that he would give me my heart's desire. But it's important to understand that my heart needs to be right for whatever it is that I'm desiring, that I'm asking of him. Anything that God knows that I'm noteworthy of having, that I can handle, that's what I want. That's what I ask for. But if something that I'm asking for that God feels like I'm not ready or prepared for, I don't want it because it will only destroy me. And so when you pray, bear in mind your past that you've been delivered from or you made it through to tell about. Think about where you currently are and how much worse it could very well be no matter how bad you may think it is right now. And pray about where you hope to go. And when you pray those prayers, what's your ulterior motive as to what you're asking for? Don't let it be materialistic, all right? Those things come and go, and they will be added unto you if you do the things that God would have you do as it pertains to your purpose and what you are called to live out in this world. I'm your man, Darius Dante, and as always, <clears throat> these are the things that change males to men. <clears throat>